Hello, so um, this is going to be a bit of an odd video, a bit of a different one today, but I thought I'd just come and like show you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. We are very close to being a full-time YouTuber right now, which is super exciting. I'm not working today, I am doing youtube -y stuff today, so I thought I'd just take you along and uh, you can see what it is that I get up to. So today we have a few things that we want to do. Number one, we're going to take, take Luna for a walk. Uh, there's a field right next to me, so um, she absolutely loves it. So we'll go, we'll go and give her a little walk. Uh, I've got some new darts. I'm going to show you guys what I do with a brand new set of darts every single time I get a brand new set of darts. Um, so you can go through that process. And then, yeah, we'll just get set up and stuff. Um, I did some things in the darts room recently, which you guys can check out. And yeah, it's going to be a bit of a weird one. I'm going to try and see how this works. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it, but let's let's go take Luna for a walk. Luna, come here. Come here. Yeah, sit. Good girl, let's get down. Good girl, wait. So Luna absolutely loves a ball. So we've got two balls. She's not very good at taking one ball back. You have to kind of like entice her with a second ball. So that's why we're using two balls. But anyway, let's go and walk the dog. Let's chuck the ball around for Luffy. Come on. Then. First poo of the walk. And this is how we wear her out. She is crazy as well. She's like proper mental. So wearing her out isn't easy, but a little bit of this should be fine. <coughs> Luna, this way. Good girl. Anyone want a nice big bag of poo? Luna, bring your ball. Good girl. Good girl, you ready? Go on then. She could do this for absolutely hours. Luna, this way. Good girl. Good girl. She's supposed to be a gun dog with like really good gun dog training. You're, you're all right, aren't you? You're not bad. You will come back. Do you want to throw the ball one more time? Come here. Drop it. Good girl. Okay, one last time, all right? Then we're going to go back home. She is fast, though. Very fast. In you come. Here. Luna. Here. All right, you sit. Sit. No. Sit, wait. Wait. Okay, keep ball. Right, we're gonna go home, all right? Come on then. And that is walking the dog. All right, let's bin your poos. Let's go home. In you get. In you get. Good girl. Good girl, take that off. Good girl, head out. Oh, that's a good girl. Okay, next stop is the darts room. I've got some packages that we're gonna open, but I slept really badly last night and I have Red Bull on a literal subscription. So I'm so bad at sleeping. Sometimes I just don't sleep. So sugar-free Red Bull, I have it on a subscription. So I've always got cans. Right, let's go into the darts room. Luna's still got a ball. She's very prepared to go and sit in there for a little bit. In you go, in you go. Get your ball. Go, in you go. Okay, so we've got a few things to do. We need to unbox this and I'll show you. These are two new sets of darts and something else. 
I'll show you what I'm doing with those. We also got a brand new PC the other day. So that is my old PC that is gonna be given to my girlfriend's little sister. And we also got this for like storage. So yeah, let's go and get set up and I'll show you what I do with all of this stuff. So basically the plan was to get my desk extended, but it just didn't work out. So I kept my old desk and what I did was I bought a chest of drawers, uh, which was like the same color. So in the top drawer, I've got all of my camera equipment and like computery stuff. Then I've got a load of like dart stuff. So I've got like everything that I use, repointers, everything like that. And then I've just got like a general like cables, these sort of thing. And that's basically what's in there. So let's get these open and I'll show you what's inside them. And uh, I'll show you exactly what I do with a brand new set of darts every time I get a brand new set of darts. Okay, so let's show you the darts that I've got because these are the darts that I'm currently using and I'm like super happy with them. Um, I've never really enjoyed a different set of darts to what I normally use until now, which is super exciting. I love, I love, I love being able to use something a little bit different, but there is something about these darts that I don't like, which is why we are here doing this. So I've got two more sets. I did buy one set. I've now got two more sets. These are the Red Dragon 22 gram Amberjack Pros. They're only like 39 quid or 37 quid or something on Amazon, which is like amazing, like really, really good value. But let me show you what it is that I don't like on these darts that we're gonna hopefully get rid of in the next few minutes. And I've got a bit of a solution for it. So. If I take a dart out, you'll see that this is the dart. This is what it looks like, but orange isn't my color. So we need to get rid of the orange. Now I've done it on my other set. And the way that I did it on my other set was that I basically grinded off the color. But this time I have bought something that will hopefully do the job for me. So I think what we're gonna do, I might leave the points in. What we're gonna do is open this. I'll show you what's in here and then I'll show you how we're gonna do it. So what we're gonna do is open this. Inside here, we have got acetone, nail polish remover. And this is what we're gonna do is, the idea is we're going to take the darts and submerge them in this. Now it's kind of expensive. I could have got a much bigger one for like only a couple of quid more, but I wanted to get it today. So I've paid a little bit extra to get it today, but I've got an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner, which I'm going to put the acetone into and I'm going to put the darts into Then I'm going to turn it on and hopefully that will make the process of removing the paint really, really quickly. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I can't guarantee it, but I need to get rid of all of these stems first and then we'll put it in the acetone, hopefully get rid of all the paint, and then we'll repoint them as well, because I don't use standard points that come in darts. I use 36 mil unicorn volute points. So let's stick these in the acetone and let's see if it actually works, because I'm not even convinced it's gonna work, but we'll try. Okay, so this is the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. You just turn it on and it cleans. Uh, I might have to hold it or something, but we're gonna put the acetone in just so it's like, I just spilt some, just so it's like deep enough that the darts will submerge. So I'll probably use like half of the, oh, I've used about a third of the acetone there. Uh, all right, so we're gonna put the darts in. So we're gonna put the darts in, hopefully it should start eating away at the paint and nothing else, ideally. So let's put them all in, there we go, that's already working. Let's put, turn this on. That, sh look at that, that is not taking long at all what a great idea this was this is obviously apologies for the sound but look you can you can see how much paint is coming off in literally seconds um i'll leave a link to this in the description if you want to get one but this is like this i didn't think this would work this well to be completely honest i think the paint's already or it's almost already gone so i'll give that another minute or so maybe put the lid on just so i don't spill any of it but it's got these suction cups on the bottom, but it's not going to work on this. But we'll give that a minute and then uh, hopefully that will, that will work, I guess. All right, let's turn that off. Is all the paint gone? I think it's already gone. That took like literally a minute. Right, I'm going to have to get these out without tr was trying not to touch the acetone. But yeah, all the paint's gone, completely gone. That is mad. Look at that. You can't really see, actually. Um, right, let me put the acetone to this side, and I'll try and pick the dart up. I'm gonna have to get my fingers a bit wet. Oh, dirty, you probably shouldn't do this, but 
There you go. What was a what was a orange paint is now completely gone. So I'm going to go dump the acetone out, probably somewhere where Luna can't get to it. And um, yeah, we'll clean them up, dry them off. I've got a cloth over there, and uh, yeah, great stuff. That was work. That worked. That worked. That worked unbelievably well. I can't believe how well that worked. So if you ever want to try that cheap ultrasonic jewelry cleaner acetone put your darts in turn it on literally a minute if that i'm actually well impressed and just like that we have and just like that, there is no paint left on those darts. That was so good. Very good. Right. I need to repoint them. I have some points somewhere. Let me find them. Okay, we should have two sets of Unicorn Volute 36 mil points in here. If it's not, then I have really messed up. Uh, there is one. And there is two. So we can now repoint those darts. That is easy. Uh, the repointer that I use is the Harrow's one. It is super good. Um, it's, it's a normal repointer, but what they've done is they've just made the edges a less sharp. So when, you, when you're repointing a dart, it doesn't hurt your hands, which is the hardest part of it, I think. Sometimes you can get repointers that have quite sharp edges, but this doesn't. So Harrow's one, I would recommend. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well if you want to go and check that out. But I would recommend the Harrow's one. I've also had a number of people ask me how to repoint a dart. So I'll just show you one. So basically what you do is you put the dart, you put the point in this little hole here, and then you thread the dart onto this. It's super easy, by the way. You'll get used to it. Uh, so that is in there like that. And then you push the points, you twist the top bit so the point is like quite far down. So you've got a little bit of a gap there. So that's how I would do it, with a little bit of a gap there. And then you tighten these up. And then you use your Allen keys to really tighten them up. Make sure that that's really tight on there like that. And you get your big Allen key, which goes on the top here, and you unravel it. So you go backwards, like it is quite hard, but you go backwards and what that does is that removes the point out of the barrel. And then you keep the dart in there, you take the point out. So untight, unloosen that, pull that point out, do whatever you want with that point. Get your replacement point, put that in where the other point was, tighten that up. Uh, tighten it up really nicely again really tighten it and then I what I do is I will hand push it into the point and then I will tighten it really crank it with this but just know when to stop as soon as it gets like it's too much you're probably good you can probably stop there so that is pretty good that started to get really tight there undo this undo the whole thing and then you can unscrew your dart and that has not worked okay so this is the downside of unicorn volute points although i think they are the best dart point sometimes you have to glue them because the points just aren't thick enough to like hold in so what i'll do is i'll put a dab of glue on top of the hole like that just a tiny tiny bit i don't know why this happens it is quite annoying to be completely honest uh, then i'll find my glue put it in again i should have done this before i glued it to be honest that would have been a lot smarter I'll tighten that on push it up and then tighten the point on obviously you have to wait for this to dry if you're going to use glue but that seems pretty on there. Undo this. And you have a dart point in a dart. But, <clears throat> but you are going to have to give it a wipe. Because the downside of using glue is that it's glue. So quick wipe and then you're good to go. 
And there we have it. That is six darts, two sets of darts, paint stripped off them and new points put in. Obviously, obviously this will void your warranty. So if you have any in, if you have any like plan to send the darts back, do not do this. Um, but I don't. So these are going to be my my using darts. Now, let's I don't know which one I just did. I'm a bit nervous about throwing them, but let's throw. Let's just see what we can get. First three darts. First three darts with a new set of darts. Let's see what we can get. I need to put my, my setup on them. These are the darts that I was using. Um, but let's just chuck the new ones in, because hopefully we might, we might hit a good score. Put them with the other ones. I've now got three sets of darts. So if I do break a point or anything like that, or I have a point fall out, like I'm completely safe now. I can just grab another, another dart. So we're all good. Right, let's see what is going to be the first three scored with a jumper on. Luna, you can't sit under there, mate. Come here. That's it. Go find your ball. Right, first three with the new darts. What are we going to get? Twenty-six. That is uh, that is about right. First three. <laughs> Might as well start it off nicely with a big 26. So the rest of my day is gonna be pretty much check over my YouTube channel, make sure that everything's fine. I haven't got any strikes, haven't got any problems, haven't got any videos that have been deleted or removed or anything like that. Reply to some comments. We've also, let me show you actually, let me find my phone. We've also got one other thing that I do like to do, and that is to update the members wall. So over here, we have the members wall. It's, it's getting quite big now. We started off over here, and we're now we're now over here. So basically, if anyone does want to become a member, you will go on the members wall. Let's see if we've got any new members. I can add them to the wall right now. So let's. Add, okay, Paul McCarthy. He is a new member. Let me just find a pen. Okay, so thank you, Paul McCarthy, for becoming a member. And all the members go on the wall, no matter what tier you're on. So if you want to go on the wall, anywhere on the wall, then become a member. There'll be a link in the description. Um, or you can hit the join button as well. So Paul McCarthy, MC Carthy with a C. Let's add you to the wall, mate. Thank you very much. And there we go. So that is Paul McCarthy on the wall. Uh, he is he is just above Andrew Gilding, up there. And uh, yeah, if you guys see your name as well, then let me know. Um, if you see your own name, let me know if you saw it. But these are all the members. So yeah, this is the best way to support me other than just watching the videos. So thank you, Paul. And thank you to everyone else who is on the wall as well. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means a lot. It really does. So basically the rest of my day will be checking my YouTube channel, checking my emails. I will have a darts practice as well. The left-handed darts is actually going quite well now. Um, we have a stream tonight, so it's Members Monday. So if anyone is a member on this wall, you can play against me on Members Monday uh, where we just do online darts um, with webcams and stuff. And like you'll be on the stream and stuff. So if you want to show off a little bit in front of a couple hundred people, then come and join Members Monday. But anyway... That is going to do it for today. I, it's, it's, a, it's a weird video. I'm going to try and make more exciting videos and more doing stuff videos. Let me know what you thought about this. Did, did, did this video bore you? Did you find it interesting? Was it just a nice, easy watch to watch Luna run around and stuff and me to repoint and take some paint off some darts? I need some feedback. Is this worth me doing on a regular basis? Let me know because I'd love to, but I don't want to like put crap content out so let me know what you think but anyway guys thanks for watching today's video that's amazing uh subscribe if you're not subscribed we're nearly at 100,000 subscribers and uh yeah enjoy the rest of your day hopefully see a few of you in a bit uh for members monday goodbye <laughs>